Hey guys, this is Post Production Pi with SRLounge.com. Let's move on to customizing our panel end marks. Now, you guys will remember from the preferences uh, tutorials that we get to preferences by hitting Control, Comma, or Command, Comma on a Mac. And to get to the interface preferences, we got to go to the interface tab, and then we have our options for panel end marks. Now, you'll see in panel end marks that we have uh, several different kind of stock options that come available with Lightroom. We can also choose none. What if we want to actually upload our own, our custom uh, panel end mark? Well, what you do is you go to the panel end marks folder, and you have to upload your panel end mark into this folder. I would highly recommend when you guys create your panel end marks that you create them with transparencies so you don't show white if you're using a JPEG, because over a background, over a blank area of background, it will show white. So we're going to go in the panel end marks folder. I'm going to go onto our exercise files folder, and I'm going to take this panel end mark flourish and I'm going to drag and copy it into here. All right, now let's go back to Lightroom, and what we need to do is we need to close out of the preferences for one second, and then we need to reload it again. So hit Control, Comma, or Command, Comma again. Go to Interface. This time it should load up our Panel and Mark Flourish, and we're going to select that, and we are good. Now, if you don't like the way it looks, you guys can customize it. So if I think it looks a little bit too bold right now, well, I'm going to go into my Illustrator file, and I'm going to actually turn down the transparency of it. And we'll say, we'll do the transparency at say 35%. Once again, we're gonna save this as a PNG file. And this is kind of beyond the scope of this tutorial, so we're not gonna be teaching you guys Illustrator, but I'm just kind of showing you guys how you'd customize this end mark. So we're gonna replace the end mark. Once again, I'm gonna go into my folders and I'm gonna take this uh, panel end mark that we just customized, drag it back into the panel end marks folder, and I'm gonna replace the current one. We're going to go back into Lightroom. Oh, it's in use. So what we'll do is we're going to do this. We're going to do transparent. We'll save it as a different name. That way it doesn't give us an issue. We'll copy it in. We're going to go back into Lightroom. Again, close out the interface tab. Hit Control or Command comma again to get back in. And then we're going to select that transparent one again. And so that looks a lot nicer. It doesn't jump out nearly as much as that previous one. So now I'm going to hit OK. Everything else is fine. And if I go and look, all of my panel end marks now should have the SLR logo. So feel free to customize that however you guys like. Again, if you want to space it around, you need to use transparent pixels. So create like a little bumper on the top so that it, uh, it's transparent and so it bumps the entire logo down, which is something I'm going to do actually right now. But I'll let you guys customize however you guys like on your own. All right, guys, let's go on to the next tutorial.